All right, hello. You are officially watching the first ever Interplay Facebook Live. I don't even know, am I supposed to call it a telecast? But uh, we are here on actually also our first ever Trades Tuesday uh, post here. And we're really just excited to show you a little bit more about our training that we have here at Interplay on Trades Tuesday and excited for you guys to enjoy this here on Facebook Live. So we are about to dive in to a inducer motor fault utilizing our HTC Vive uh, VR hardware because really our training can end up being used on many different ways from desktops to watching uh, videos on mobile but as well we feel we don't even describe enough how you can do all this stuff in VR. So uh, we're hoping to take advantage of that here on this Tuesday and many of our Tuesdays just to really bring to life what we can do with all of our training in VR. So as many of you know, but maybe some of you don't, our goal here at Interplay is to really be delivering to you access to uh, affordable trades training for both yourself or your company to help scale your knowledge and your ability to upskill yourself and to join careers like what we've got now already in solar and HVAC. So with that all being said, let's dive into a fall. All right, I actually already had it queued up, but I did launch this uh, through our Skill Mill training app. And you should be able to see exactly what I'm seeing here in the TV screen behind me. A little side note, this really is our simple little training studio here. So we like to say, give us 10 feet of space and we can give you a state-of-the-art training atmosphere here when, when, you, when you end up investing in VR. So this is a training mode fault. I know exactly the issue I'm going with because to be honest, you probably don't want me going to your house to fix your issues. So, you know, this actually helps drive my instruction. So I know exactly what's going on in a training mode app or training mode fault. Not to be confused with an assessment fault, which really is a service call like, you know, a service call like scenario where you're showing up on a scene, all you have is your tools. In training mode, which is used by a lot of our learners at the very beginning, guides me directly through what I would be doing in an inducer motor fault situation. So that all being said, let's go ahead and as we do know, we always want to start all of our service calls at the thermostat. So I'm going to click that to run. And now it's going to teleport me. In VR, a lot of your movement happens via teleports. That's actually how you jump around because even though I do have some ability to move around, I can't, you know, can't walk all the way around. So we use teleportations to really, uh, you know, move, move my uh, main focus here in my field of view. So I'm going to remove the field, uh, remove the cover. I am going to take the door switch here so I can start doing some real testing on this gas furnace. Okay. So is the inducer fan motor running? The beginning kind of one of the main parts of our procedural troubleshooting approach here. And I actually can see it is not. One cool part about VR is just turning this whole thing into a you know, full body learning experience. So is the inducer fan motor running? No. Okay, so now we're actually gonna start diving in using my multimeter here. And we're gonna start diving in to some testing here on our control board. So follow me along. In a training mode scenario, I actually have all my areas where my probes go are going to be highlighted in orange. So that helps me understand, hey, okay, this is exactly what I'm supposed to be looking for. Now, as you advance your skills, challenge, assessment mode, we stop giving you a few of those scaffolding measures. So you've got to really know exactly what you're looking at. So 120 volts, that's what I'm looking for. A quick little feature. I can use my little trigger finger to bring my probes back. Now I'm back going again. I'm gonna be checking my next part of my procedure guide. So is 20 volt measured of low voltage terminal on the left edge of the IFC? So let's go check this out. I actually see my uh, orange areas focusing on where I need to be putting my probes. Red and orange, or sorry, red and blue there. So then let's go check the reading. This is helping me understand, okay, so this is actually where in many scenarios, if I was a new learner and I'd have my uh, 
uh, one of the service manager, somebody on site. This is a way that we can actually communicate together about, okay, why, you know, so what does this 24 volts mean? Why would I be getting that reading? What do we think? So it's a way, even in VR, it's a great way for a couple of people to learn and work together. So I'm gonna use my little retractor and let's go see our next. Now I'm gonna be testing the blue and white wires here. Alrighty, and I did get the reading there. So this is certainly a great time for me to communicate, hey, this is what I'm seeing in this reading. This is why I got it. Now we're actually gonna move up to the inducer motors. Reading, so I'm gonna pull out my probes again. There's one reading. There's the other. All right, cool. So that obviously that 120 volt, 20 volt reading there on that inducer motor really got me thinking, okay, I think that this is the issue. So now we're actually gonna go through the replacement process. Here at Interplay, our goal is to really focus on what's the cognitive procedural process to isolate what the issue is. Then we utilize videos or you use on the job training to really focus on what is that, you know, processes to update an inducer motor. So turn off the service switch and check it off. We're implementing more and more safety procedures as we go along because to be honest, the realer our training gets, the more safety is, becomes a focus here at Interplay. So here I drop the service switch. Now I'm going to replace the inducer motor. And I think I should hopefully be able to do that. Push this back and now I'm going to kick the service switch back into gear. On, okay. And now I'm gonna go back into the house as the motor starts going, as the gas furnace starts starting up, hopefully in a few seconds I will have successfully known that I'm fixing the issue because now I have some hot air, which is pretty important this time of year. So here we go, that looks like a successful fix situation here. Service call fixed. And now I can dive back into a video-based training or to do more sims. So there we go, and I did get my five points for a little affirmation for my hard work here. So that's about it for first official Facebook Live. I want to say thanks to all you guys for watching. And of course, remember you can go to interplaylearning.com, start your free trial. We now both have monthly, annual, and team subscriptions ready to roll. And other than that, hopefully see you guys here next Tuesday. That's all for today. Bye-bye.